In this lecture, we're going to be talking about the basic DC chopper. So remember that a DC to DC converter can either step the voltage up or down, depending on the application. And so the easiest way to step the voltage down is to simply chop the input voltage with respect to the output voltage. So for example, if we say that switch one here is on for a certain amount of time during one period and then it is off during the rest of the period, then the average of the output voltage has to be lower than the input voltage over one period because the output voltage is going to be equal to the input voltage during some time and then it's going to be equal to zero during the rest of the period. So the average is out to being lower than the input voltage. So for example, let's say that we draw the output voltage on this axis right here. And so let's say that from zero to pi, so this part right here, the output voltage is equal to Vn. In other words, if switch one is on, then the output voltage has to be equal to the input voltage. However, let's say that from pi to two pi, we turn the switch off, then the output voltage would be equal to zero. So it would look like this. And then of course, we repeat that again. So we're gonna turn switch one on and off once every cycle. Now what this does is that the average of the output voltage, let's say V out, is going to be somewhere lower than the input voltage. So let's say that's around here. Because again, remember that the average of a waveform, so let's calculate the average of V out, is going to be equal to 1 over the period, so 1 over 2 pi for this example, times the integral over that period. So we can say that from 0 to pi is going to be equal to Vn, d omega t. So this is going to be equal to 1 over 2 pi, times, and then we're going to do a little bit of calculus here, so this is going to be equal to Vn times pi minus Vn times 0. So this is just the integral from 0 to pi of the output voltage. So then this is going to be equal to Vn times pi over 2 pi, and pi's cancel out, so we get that the average of V out is going to be Vn over 2 for this example. And so that kind of makes sense because what we've done is we've turned the switch one on during half of the cycle and then we've turned it off during the rest of the cycle. So then it makes sense that the average of the output voltage is equal to half of the input voltage. Now in more general terms, let's say that the period, we we'll call it T, and we don't define it as 2 pi, we're just going to deliver it in general terms. So we'll say that the period is T, and then we call this point right here where the switch is on d times t. So d in this case is what's called the duty ratio. And this is a term that we're going to use frequently in DC to DC converter analysis. But basically what it is is the ratio during which every period the switch is on. So for this example, since we turn the switch on for half of the cycle and off for the other half of the cycle, then d would be equal to 0 0.5. And so then we can say that the average of the output voltage in more general terms for this basic DC chopper is going to be equal to D times Vn. And so the reason why this is useful is because we can change the average of the output voltage by adjusting the duration. So we can increase the average of the output voltage by increasing the duration, or we can decrease the average of the output voltage by decreasing the duration. However, notice that the ripple of the output voltage is very high. In fact, it is equal to the entire input voltage. So the output voltage fluctuates between Vn and zero. So this ripple is very high. And so this circuit is not very useful in practical applications. However, if we can filter out the ripple, then we can control the average of the output voltage and make it somewhat constant. So in the next couple of lectures, we're gonna see how we can use capacitors and inductors to filter out the ripple on the output voltage and current, while still giving us the ability to step the output voltage up or down.